Chapter 13. The sense of awe consumed Zim's body as he watched the royal children of the Dragonlands fly in different formations and chase each other around the Great Hall. They were so magnificent and wonderful that it reminded Zim why he wanted to become the Dragon Master. Kids, King Errol shouted, time to eat. The royal children quickly headed towards their seats. Suddenly, a cloud of smoke covered them, and their once dragon bodies were now humans and dressed for a royal feast. Each of them were the most simple yet elaborate clothes that the Dragonlands had to offer. Good morning, King Arrow sung. Good morning, Father. They joined in unison. Queen Shanika was more quiet than she had ever been. Mother, is everything okay? You're never this quiet. Zim Arrow, the oldest and heir to the throne, expressed concern. I'm fine, thank you. Those words, mm -mm, they jittered out of her quickly. Mother, father, who is? <laughs> Arthur, the second oldest and master army strategist and protege inquired. You know, they say you shouldn't laugh at other people's pain. Well, King Arrow did not get that message because he was all too thrilled to allow his wife to answer that question. Honey, would you like to answer that question for our children? The feeling of wanting to die engulfed her because she did not want to look at her kids, much less answer them. But she knew she had to. Um, Kids, this is Zim, the young man I told you about. <laughs> King Earl gazed into his wife's soul. He's not only the young man that I will be training to become the Dragon Master, he's also your older brother. You could have heard the wind rush by how quiet it was, and not because there were a ton of arrow dragons in the room. I'm sorry, Mother. Zim Arrow said, you said what again? Zim is your child. He is the first child I ever had. The kids were flabbergasted, all shocked and appalled that they couldn't believe this new information. So you and father had a kid and y'all didn't tell us? Uh, your father didn't do a darn thing, King Arrow retorted. I was not part of the making of that child. Although I would have liked to have been. <laughs> yeah, your father is not the father of Zim. Queen Shanika interjected. Uncle Pyro is. You had a child with Uncle Pyro? Arrow raised her voice slightly. Arrow, that is still your mama. King Arrow don't play about his wife. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mother. Continue. Yes, I had a baby with your Uncle Pyro, and instead of raising the baby and letting the chips fall where they may, I decided to give the baby up to your Uncle Hydro and his wife, Rika. The reason is, is that his wife, Rika, is my older sister, who would do anything for me, and she did. Don't you feel better now, King Arrow smiled? I actually do. Thank you. Queen Shanika's body relaxed to the point she didn't even realize she was that tense. So, does he have access to the throne? Zim could feel this awkward moment and realized that by blood, he was related to it. It was in that moment that he wished he would have never came to the Dragonlands, but he wanted to be the Dragon Master. And that was the only thing that was keeping him there. Hi, um, I do not have access to the throne because I'm not the firstborn of the king. I do not want the throne. I want to be the dragon master, and that's all. You don't have to worry about me. My mom, Rika, and my dad, Zip Sr., are all the mom and dad that I need. <coughs> Excuse me. So you don't even have to think of me as a brother. You can think of me as a cousin since I am the son of your aunt and uncle. Thank you. Once again, silence filled the room like a fire from a dragon who's trying to stop the knight from rescuing the princess. That was a really good response. But that's a negative. Zim's eyes exploded <laughs> openly. 
You are the other, other, blah, 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 blah. blah. You are. You are their older brother, whether you want it to be or not. And whether they want it to be or not, you are their older brother. The short of the shoulders added a little spice to it. This afternoon, all five of you will go to the courtyard and have lunch and bond and get to know each other. Also, tomorrow, we will all spend lunch and with a very special guest together. Don't worry about the logistics. I have to get some information first. No one in the family or in that room even thought to speak back to him. Everyone knows that when the king speaks, you listen. So what now? Zamero asked. Now, King Arrow responded, you finish your breakfast, then you all go play with your siblings. Us three will have to have a conversation with a little certain someone about what's going on. 